Nick knew he was gonna be dancing with professional dancers. So I got together with him at least three times a week, teaching him the basics of dance, getting him to loosen up and just get really comfortable in his body. And then when I got to integrate them all together and actually put the formations together, it was just so fun to see them all just mesh together like best friends. Nice job, boys. While we have seen various interviews already of these two lovebirds, at least on screen, trying to promote this book adaption, today we wanted to share what went into the making of this film with Anne Hathaway being attached as producer and lead. I took a little time to breathe. Nick Galatine, he's just super talented. You can kind of throw anything at him. Hey, play guitar. Hey, play piano. I need you to sing. He's just got an incredible swoony voice. Very swoony. We will be getting into the extensive amount of research and preparation that went into creating a fictional boy band and the chemistry between Anne and Nicholas for this type of role. Anyway, uh, cancel last minute, now I'm here. I just- So her father, not your husband. Well, he was my husband. He was my husband, but now he's just her father. Mm. Wow. He paused. That's serendipitous, isn't it? But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question, Anne Hathaway is credited as producer in this film, but this isn't her first time. What was her first project that she produced? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. There was a house in Virginia Highlands that just had a sweetness about it. The inside of the house, unfortunately, looked nothing like Solon's world. And luckily, the homeowners were open to us adding beams and changing paint colors and redoing their kitchen. And it was really quite cool that they kept everything when we were done with it. And Hathaway revealed how being a mother helped her to understand her character in the movie, saying, I don't think it's necessary to be a mother to play a mother. I think that should be open to lots of different actors. But for me, in terms of understanding the depth of love that you can feel for this person and what you would be willing to do, she said. This dress is a Chanel vintage dress. What caught my eye about this dress was the chenille on top and then it's this beautiful silk skirt. And the color was so vibrant to me, that purple that her and I had been discussing with our palette. I just knew like this was going to be one of the dresses that we were going to see a lot. And then I found this Etro Velvet Navy Blazer to complement it. She talks even more about the book adaption and her character and using the book as a reference, of course, when sometimes they were stuck with what to say or do in a particular scene. This book was such a gift. It, it was the most unbelievable. It was like a living document that we that we had. And sometimes if we were in a scene and we're like, oh, how, can we try it differently? What could we say here? We would just pull out the book and just be like, oh, Robin did the work for us. So um, I think Robin tapped into something very real. There were even moments where we have seen the director and writer of the project talking about the cast, including Nicholas and Anne, and how they were cast. She had also been kind of open about the fact that she wanted to do a, sort of a movie that she could glaringly turn 40 on screen and talk about it, which was a courageous thing to do, and she had mentioned that. So it felt like kind of the right Fit. And then we just got that, that really lucky thing where she said, yeah, she, she really wanted to do it. And she was in from the beginning and never wavered. Hathaway even spoke out about this, and she said that Nicholas was the perfect person to play this role. When you asked me about how important dance is, um, it actually was so in, uh, integral to how Nick got cast in The Idea of You because, um, you know, we met with so many wonderful actors. And the question was like, okay, how do you how do you do a chemistry read? Switching gears to the boy band, this wouldn't be the first time that they had put a fictional musician or band in a film, but the amount of research and background that went into it was actually larger than some might think. It's just been this process of pulling these characters out of the boys. How do they move? How do they walk? How do they pose? I was in the for me, because I'm a dancer, she guided us through the process of where we need to chill out and not dance so hard because we are trying to play boy band members, not dancers. Sometimes it was bumping up the choreography for me and then pulling it down for them and finding these amazing little moments between us on stage. Galatzine and his on-screen bandmates went to, quote, boy band boot camp to learn how to dance and feel comfortable with their stage presence before shooting concert scenes as the fictional band August Moon. I mean, there was honestly such a plethora of them and I think like different um, subjects kind of serve different components of the, of the performance and, you know, 
the sort of uh, dance and, and singing part of the performance um, had, had other references. But I think what's key to note is I think we wanted to feel very distinct. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Hayes is first Coachella outfit. That's a Young Maven t-shirt. And then he's wearing Margiela trousers. So the cut of his pants were always you know, a wider leg, a little slouchy, a little drop crotch sort of thing, intentional to give him that cool factor. And a lot of Lueve, I used a lot of Margiela, Saint Laurent, they were all designers because that's what he would be wearing. We didn't perform in front of 80,000 people, but 500 supporting artists were there watching us. So it was kind of like doing a mini concert in a way, he revealed. It's like embodying the confidence of a pop star. It was such a huge achievement to create the biggest boy band in the world. That portion of the movie was something I was pretty terrified about. Galvanizing an audience is a very hard thing to do. It was such a journey seeing this group come together on stage. We got a glance from the costume designer on what went into the look of August Moon. Nick and I had discussed Matt Healy from 1975. With him and with the band, the obvious um, <laughs> comparisons are going to be made, you know, it was the One Direction and all of that. But it, of course, is dated now because that was so many years ago. I liked sort of the casual feel of what they did. And of course, the chemistry between these two was very important. But as we can tell that they did very well with portraying the romance that was needed on screen. We just like joking with each other and we like the chemistry test for this movie. Um, after having been on the other side of chemistry tests uh, throughout my career, uh, I'm, because I'm a producer on this one, I got to have a hand in saying how actors actually like to discover if they have chemistry. And so I did something which in hindsight might have actually been terrifying to receive. Going into the setting of where they wanted the place to be and feel, there were a lot of options to choose from. Given that Coachella was in the name of where the beginning took place, they decided to overall have the movie take place in Silver Lake and Los Angeles. A lot of the film takes place in Silver Lake, a neighborhood in LA. Silver Lake is a, is a beautiful neighborhood. There's a lot of artists living in Silver Lake. This was a perfect place for someone like Selene to live because she's found a neighborhood where she belongs. While Hathaway's Selene, the 40-year-old art gallerist who falls in love with Nicholas Galitzine's boy band Hayes in the Prime Video rom-com, lives in Silver Lake, California. The home's actual location where filming took place is in Atlanta, Georgia. There's different stages, and so you really want to feel that energy and that scale. It started with us creating everything from scratch and you know, figuring out what elements we could physically bring to the space and then going to concept art and putting in those elements like Ferris wheels and palm trees and mountains. As Anne Hathaway and Nicholas read from the actual book, we get to see just how much was used in the film from the book. <laughs> I could be your mother, you know. I could be your mother. But you're not. But I could be. But you're not. He held my gaze, smiling his half smile. It all comes down to this. Places, everyone. Here we go. Ready and playback. You so honored to be here on this iconic stage. When it came time for them to do their performance, they were beyond impressive and we just watched people lose their minds. We even got to hear from the author of the novel, The Idea of You, and what it was like seeing the film on screen for the first time for her. I think when you sit down to write a book, it, it's just you and the book and those characters in your head and you're just getting it on the page. And the last thing you expect is all of it. I mean, even when I like, like with like Daydream, like, oh, what if this was a movie? Like. You don't really, I'm looking at like the posters and like, and all, you don't really, it's, it's kind of amazing. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, for Anne Hathaway's first produced project was in 2013 called Song One. Music has been a passion of mine for a while, and so it's been truly just a gift. We're so excited. This entire process, rehearsing the boys, has been leading up to this moment. Finally getting to do it on stage with a group of fans, it's incredible. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments and what was your favorite moment? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. 
that's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. You kind of start becoming this real band outside of trying to create a big band. We've had to really get to know each other and we've built a lot of trust throughout this process and had a lot of fun all the while doing it. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate all of you.